Jeff. And I want you to know that I was not born a leader. Uh, for me, it was a learned skill. And when I realized that I had learned it, I figured that other women could learn it too. And so when, we, when I brought together the first hundred women to launch this movement in 1972, I challenged them not just to study the issues, not just to know what was going on, but actually to be a leader, to make a difference. And I did, did believe and do believe that we can do it. Over the years, Eagle Forum has grown to be effective, but we're not just one smart person and a mailing list. We have real people all across the country, state and chapter leaders, who are informed, articulate, effective, and can make a real difference. And so Eagle Forum has become bigger than I am. The sum of our uh, efforts is greater than what each of us could do individually. Eagle Forum really has a life of its own that I believe will go on and on. We have a specific mission, lots of them, but preeminent among that is saving the United States Constitution. We saved it from the onslaught of the radical feminists. We saved it from the powerful groups that wanted to plunge us into a constitutional convention. And today we are saving it or trying to save it from those who want to plunge us into world government and all sorts of international bureaucracies. We have great people all across the country who are working in this great cause. We need you and we can do it if we work together. We have a great thing going, dear friends. There's much more that I could say, but most of it has already been said. We have the talent and the resources and the commitment of people right here in this room to turn our country around, to turn it in the right direction instead of the left direction. I am certain and positive that we can do it. I am very optimistic about the future with friends like you and your commitment. We can accept the challenge and have victory for our country and for all the values we care about. Thank you for being here tonight.